If you're looking for a real simple way to lower your body fat levels and to actually keep the fat off all year round, you really should consider intermittent fasting. I personally have been intermittent fasting for over 12 years. I'm 57 years old and I'm able to maintain 10% body fat levels through intermittent fasting. So in this video, I want to go over my exact intermittent fasting routine and schedule so you can achieve the same results that I do. If you're new to my channel, my name is Mike Cola. I've been a fitness trainer and gym owner for over 30 years. And if you're looking for practical lifestyle strategies to improve your fitness, health, and nutrition, hit that subscribe button. I put out videos like this every single week. Let's go over exactly what intermittent fasting is. Intermittent fasting means that you're compressing your eating window. So you cycle between times of eating and actually times of fasting. For example, like when you go to sleep at night, as long as you don't wake up and grab some food, you're pretty much in a fasted state. Okay. But intermittent fasting, in my opinion, doesn't really kick in until you fast for at least 12 hours. And sometimes you can even fast as long as 36 hours. But we're going to go over in this video all the different types of intermittent fasting that I personally use to you know, lower my body fat and to get all those great results. Let's go over now what does fasting consists of. Like, What do you have to do during your fasted window to get all the results that you're looking for? Well, first of all, you can't consume any type of food or liquid that has calories, no calories. I know that seems obvious, but I get emailed constantly. People asking me, Mike, does this food break my fast? Does this liquid break my fast? And the basic rule is if it has calories, you cannot consume it during your fast or you're going to be breaking the fast. Okay. What I do recommend you do is that you consume liquids that don't have any calories. Like you can have black coffee. Okay, but you can't put sugar, you can't put cream in the coffee because that's going to break your fast. You can have green tea, you can have herbal teas, you can have like black tea, pretty much any type of liquid that doesn't have calories. What I really recommend is you drink things like, you know, Pellegrino, like mineral water. I think, you know, Pellegrino is so good if you're really high in magnesium. There were other liquids that I'm not really crazy about, but I do think it, they're okay. Like if you want to consume like diet soda, like no calorie soda, if you want to chew chewing gum that has no calories, I think it's okay. But my personal experience with it and just with dealing with like, you know, hundreds of clients over the years, you know, in, in my personal training gym, that I find that diet soda and chewing gum actually makes you more hungry. But if you, if you don't find that does it for you, you're okay with that, then I think it's perfectly okay to drink diet soda or to have like no calorie chewing gum. In my intermittent fasting protocol, I use four different basic types of intermittent fasting. Let's go over them right now. I follow a 16-8 intermittent fasting strategy all the time. What that means is that I fast for 16 hours, and then I take in all my calories within an eight hour eating window. That's a great form, a very popular form of intermittent fasting. Another thing I do is the one meal a day diet, the OMAD diet. That's when you pretty much fast for say 22 to 23 hours, and then you take in all your calories within, within a one hour or a two hour eating window. Okay, another intermittent fasting strategy is a 24 hour fast. I'll fast for 24 hours every now and then. And then a fourth strategy that I do is I only eat two meals a day. So for example, if I'm following a 16-8 and I'm giving myself an eight hour eating window, I'm not just grazing for eight hours eating multiple small meals. I still will only give myself two meals within the eight hour eating window. Now let's go over my exact intermittent fasting schedule, how I use all those four intermittent fasting strategies within the week or within the month. Okay, first of all, I follow 16, eight, six days a week. So Monday through Saturday, I'm fasting for 16 hours and then I'm taking in all my calories 
within an eight hour eating window with only two meals within those eight hours, okay? Then on Sundays, one day a week, I follow the OMAD diet. That means I have one meal a day. So I'll fast for say 22 for t to 23 hours, and then I'll have a nice big Sunday feasting meal for an hour or two on Sundays. But like I said earlier in the video, I will be drinking black coffee during the day. I will be drinking maybe herbal teas, and I'll definitely be drinking a lot of Pellegrino water during that fasted period. Another thing I do is I'll do this 24 to 36 hour fast, maybe about once a month. I'll do like a, a 24 hour to 36 hour fast because I'll be breaking my fast probably noon the second day. So it, it kind of creeps into 36 hours all the time. But another thing that I do on a regular basis is, is that I take diet breaks about 20% of the time where I up my calories. I'm gonna talk about more about these diet breaks in the next slide. Let's go over now why I like to take diet breaks. Okay, when you're intermittent fasting, when you're restricting your calories to a smaller eating window, without even trying, you're gonna be eating less food. And most likely, you're gonna be in a calorie deficit. That's one of the reasons why intermittent fasting works so well. You lose weight without having to count calories. Okay, but in my opinion, it's not good to restrict calories for an indefinite extended period of time. Every few weeks, I think it's a good idea to take a diet break to increase your calories. See, when you lose weight, your metabolism will slow down. It's called the metabolic effect. And I have found, and actually research has shown too, that if you take periods where you increase your calories, it's actually going to help you reduce body fat in the long run and keep the body fat off. Plus, it'll minimize the reduction in your metabolism. Now, I'm gonna go on the next slide, I'm gonna go into detail of how I use my diet breaks, but one other technique I do when I am taking a diet break and I'm increasing my calories is that that's when I hit the gym really hard. That's when I increase my resistance training intensity. So I try to put on muscle when I'm in a positive energy balance. When I have a surplus of calories, that's when I muscle up. Let's go over now the exact five-week protocol when we incorporate all these different strategies. Okay, now for four weeks, I follow the 16-8, you know, Monday through Saturday, right, with only two meals a day, Sunday OMAD, and then after four weeks, I take a 24 to a 36-hour fast. That's when I'm in a calorie deficit. That's when I'm burning body fat like crazy. Okay, but then on the fifth week, that's, that's when I take a diet break. That's when I go into a positive energy balance. I eat a lot more food, okay? I do that for five days, and then I also cycle my workouts around this. That's when I hit the resistance training really hard, and I try to put on muscle when I have a surplus of calories. Now, I think this five-week intermittent fasting protocol is a great rinse and repeat system. You can keep on doing this over and over again every five weeks. An incredible way to keep your body fat low while maintaining your muscle mass. But I quickly wanna talk about the type of diet, like the actual food that I eat when I'm following this intermittent fasting routine. I pretty much eat a whole food natural diet. I eat low carb, but my, most of my calories come from healthy fats and I do eat plenty of protein. If you wanna learn more about the type of foods I eat, definitely check out this video. I think you'll find it really helpful.